The keyboard is the main input device used by all computers. Much like typewriters, the keyboard has all the letters of the alphabet. Numbers 0 to 9 and additional special operational keys. Keyboards convert letters, numbers and special characters that people understand into electrical signals. These signals are sent to and processed by the system unit. Touch typing is a technique for typing quicker and more accurately with all 10 fingers without ever having to look at the keyboard. The advent of electric typewriters brought in the concept of touch typing. This made typing easier and keys needed to be lightly touched. There was less effort along with greater speed and accuracy. The touch typing system consists of assigning letters to each specific finger. Typists learn to type without looking at their fingers. Technological developments resulted in the transition of the typewriter to the computer keyboard. Using computers made it possible to enhance the appearance of text, insert pictures within documents and do much more. Touch typing techniques involve the development of muscle memory. As you learn how to type correctly, the movements required by your fingers will become easier and more natural. Just like leg and arm muscles when playing a sport, your finger muscles need time to adjust to a new activity like typing. At first, don't worry about speed. That will come with time. Focus on accuracy and as your fingers get used to the activity, speed will increase. In order to correct previous wrong typing habits and increase your efficiency, you will need to start being more aware of the letters you are typing and which fingers you are using to type those letters. In the beginning, your typing speed may even decrease because you will no longer be using your already developed muscle memories while you develop new ones. Muscle memory is a way of developing motor skills through repetition. For repeated actions, you do not consciously think before performing an action. Your brain learns to naturally perform an action without even having to think about it. Most of you must be familiar with what the different fingers are called. For the information of those who don't, here is a picture. These are the thumbs. These are the index fingers. These are the middle fingers. These are the ring fingers. And finally, these are the little fingers, sometimes called pinkies. Here is a keyboard chart showing which finger is used to type which key. It may help to print it out and keep it beside your computer. This will serve as a quick reference when you are unsure of which finger to use. Certain movements will seem a bit difficult at first. Your little fingers and ring fingers will need a little practice before they begin to cooperate. It's important to continue to type each key with the proper finger so that your fingers can develop a muscle memory of where they need to move. After enough practice, you will no longer need to think about each letter before you type it. For example, when typing the word cat, you won't have to think about the fact that you are using your middle finger for C, your little finger for A, and your index finger for T. When you go to type the word, your fingers will just naturally type it out without you having to think about it. In order to achieve the muscle memory phenomenon, however, it's important to put in time and effort initially and avoid practices such as using your index finger for more keys than intended just because it feels more natural. It's important to reduce the movements of your fingers as much as possible when learning how to type. 
Each hand has its own dimensions and your movements may not look exactly like the ones you see on screen. If you need to move your fingers away from the home row to reach a specific character, that's okay as long as you are aware of the movement and doing your best to keep your fingers in their home row position. Practice and commitment are going to be very important. You may feel unnatural and awkward at first as you change your old habits and learn new ones. Simply focus on the long-term goal of increased efficiency that will result from correcting your previous typing habits. Did you know, stewardess is the longest word typed with only the left hand and lollipop with your right. The sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, uses every letter of the alphabet. 